dear students yesterday i have taught the first policy of british east india company that policy was policy of expansion means by which policy british east india company extended british empire in india with reference to the policy of expansion i have taught you outright war subsidiary alliance drug times of lapse and pretext of avadh misrule today i would like to teach you economic policy basically today i'll focus on particular three topics land revenue system one way free trade policy and commercialization of agriculture again i am going to repeat this one with reference to the economic policy of of the british east india company i'll explain this topic with three headings first heading will be there land revenue system there are three land revenue system introduced by british east india company in india first policy was known as permanent settlement or we can say zamindari system second policy introduced by british government that was rayatwari policy and third one third land revenue policy was mahalwadi policy or system in conclusion i would like to mention here all policies all three land revenue policies had been made by framed by british government for the for the welfare of britain target was there how maximum revenue will be generated maximum revenue will be collected and that revenue will be not utilized for the welfare of india that revenue was utilized for the welfare of britain i think my words are getting point number 1 three land revenue system policy one more point in this land revenue policy i would like to mention here in all three land revenue system the rate revenue rate was very high more than 50% here it is very necessary to mention in ancient period i think my words are familiar that land revenue system was existed in ancient time also but it was collected in mild way and 33% land revenue had been collected and in some empire one by six revenue rate was there but in british east india company or land revenue was very high and mercilessly the british officers collected revenue and there were no any sentimental sentimental attachment with the far farmers and no any relaxation had been given to the farmers so what was the result day by day the position of the farmers okay weakened and their po position was a very pathetic position second heading one way free trade policy student you you know this one one way free trade means i think you know when 
any urban body is there urban urban city will be there in this one way even rush will be more so sometimes you have seen that one way route will be there means you can go by that side but can't come by same route okay so we can understand this one way free trade policy introduced by britishers what was the one way free trade policy means if british commodity is coming to india no tax or minimum tax but if any indian commodity is going to outside of the country or going to britain for selling so maximum tax was imposed meaning british exim policy british government made exim policy how to destroy indian cottage industries indian small scale industries how it will be destroyed i have yesterday i have taught you industrial revolution taken place in england and maximum factory established maximum production taken place so market was required and in india india was the colony of britain but in india also small scale industries were there so if sufficient production will be going on in india so who will purchase british made material so it was necessary to destroy indian handicraft industries or small scale industries to destroy to ruin the industrial sorry indian small scale industries british government introduce one way free trade policy i think now second point my words are getting this one next heading i have taught you that three headings i'll explain economic policy of the british east india company by three headings first one land revenue system three land revenue system just i have taught second one i have taught i have taught one way free trade policy and last one i am going to explain that commercialization of agriculture children if you you will pay attention in my class then you will be very much comfortable when i'll complete this lesson so very brief introduction will be given by me of each and every topic and please pay attention in my class and and listen my lecture every day then you will be very much comfortable in your history lessons third one commercialization of agriculture india was self sufficient unit what do you mean by this means indian economy was self sufficient unit means potato was also available tomato was also available rice was available fruits were available and vegetables were available means indian economy was self sufficient unit means means indian economy was not dependent on other economy and very comfortably each and every people were enjoying in indian continent and india was known as golden world golden world means very rich country rich country means golden world means when agriculture will be agriculture facility will be available trade and commerce will be developed architecture will be there monuments building will be there everything will be very nice in proper way that's why historians give a name the golden world and foreign and trade with india and other countries were going was going on very nicely and i think you know this one that time barter system was there means now today we have currency we have rupees and by currency we are doing our trade but that time international currency was not there so barter system was there but barter system was not very effective in international trade so how tra trading were there foreigner coming to india along with the gold and they given gold and purchase indian commodities by that only india was the storehouse 
of the gold coins and it was going on continuously and india became very rich country but when britishers came to india after that scenario had been changed they transformed the indian economy for the welfare of british economy means which product required for british economy they started focusing on commercial agriculture and after that what happened my words are knowing this one indigo cultivation started and after that famine came to existence millions of people died by scarcity of the foods i think my words have listened this story so today only this much again i am going to revise my topic which just i have taught i have taught you economic policy of the british east india company lesson name the first war of independence this is second topic and economic policy policies of west india company i have taught along with three headings first one land revenue system in land revenue system i have taught you three type of land land revenue system first one permanent settlement second one rayatwadi system and third one mahalwadi system second heading i have taught one way free trade policy may one way free trade policy was introduced for the british by by the british east india company to destroy the indian handicraft and small scale industries and third one that commercialization of agriculture i have just taught british bitsers transform the indian economy for the welfare of british economy and after that famine came to existence and india became poorer day by day and britain became richer day by day now today i am going to conclude my lecture children and tomorrow i'll come with one more video thank you